Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome to Girl Talk on the Road. We're going to be talking about foodie beauty and the latest scandal that she finds herself in with OnlyFans. Chantal is no stranger to controversy these days. It seems like she comes up with a new one just about every single day. Before we get into today's drama, I just wanted to talk again about her live stream. Now, we did talk about it in my latest live stream. We looked at her live streams that she was doing, but they're just too long to really get through on my own. Now, she did reveal in the now deleted live she is diabetic that is what the doctor tells her i know i am diabetic i'm pretty sure that's what my doctor said no i feel like i need to lay down it's like i have a chinese food hangover crying out loud food shouldn't make you feel this way food should make you feel energy and good and now the live streams are deleted, so it leaves us wondering where exactly she is going to go next. Now, she did post on her community tab that she can't go live tonight. This was two days ago. She's not feeling well enough. However, I will have a video out tomorrow talking about a critical issue. Now, I have to wonder if this is about her diabetes diagnosis that she has kept on the hush-hush. I believe that is to avoid criticism. She has continuously gone back and forth about whether or not she is diabetic or not. So this is probably to discuss that. Maybe she's going to talk about the issue that seems to be going on with her legs. Now she did open up on her live stream and she showed a picture I'm going to show you guys right here that looks very serious. This is very serious. She needs, she said that she went to a skin doctor and they weren't really sure what exactly was going on. Things don't look very good for Foodie Beauty. But today I did want to focus on her latest scandal, which is her only fans. Will the fans be getting back their money? Well, it appears that they will not. Let's take a look at her OnlyFans page as it stands today. As you guys can see in the bio, it says subscription is $50 a month. Now, she did raise this and says, do not subscribe. My account is closing. I upped my sub fee until I close my account so that new people won't subscribe. You will not be charged $50. So I believe that the people that have subscribed already, they either paid $5 for the promo fee or they paid the $10 after she ran out of the promotional fees. I myself did not sign up. We are taking these screenshots from her public posts there on OnlyFans. So we did talk about her. It's a cold night here in Canada. 4 a.m. here in cold Canada. Post on her community tab. She seemed to have said that she was already thinking about getting rid of her OnlyFans, but it looks like she is confirming now that it is done. But before we get into that, let's talk about what she was saying just on the 17th. Hi guys, I decided to see this through for now. Please give me a bit of time to make content on here. I just ordered a ton of underwear for some plus size lingerie and undies haul. I have some things planned. Thanks for subbing. So just two days ago, she had decided that she was going to stick it out and she even ordered some things that may or may not be there by now, but they're definitely in the mail. And then she came back just yesterday and said, hey guys, after a lot of thinking, I've decided that I'm going to shut down my OnlyFans despite ordering all that lingerie. I know this is disappointing to those who have subscribed. I deeply apologize for that. I'm not sure how to refund people on here or if that is even possible. We'll get to that later on in the video. I'm dealing with a lot right now and just thought I would give this a try. I just don't think it is for me. I hope you will continue to support me on YouTube. I am appreciative of those who understand and who paid to support me on here. I feel like she probably should have just kept it at that. If this is the avenue that she was going to take, she should have thought it through a lot more. Like I talked about in my previous video, there are a lot of things that can go wrong when it comes to OnlyFans. It's not a situation that should be taken lightly. It's not a decision that should be taken lightly. And then she comes back and says, I can't refund unless I block people, but I've decided not to do that because I did put out some content and the most of you subscribed just to troll and leak my photos so you know know what, take the $10 loss and weep. This is an absolute PR nightmare for Foodie. I can't believe she is doing this. Obviously, when she opened up the OnlyFans, she had to have known that people were going to leak it, especially because of the celebrity status. 
that she has on YouTube. It's not exactly a loving fan base. As Amberlynn would like to say, a lot of her subscribers are there as a hate fan base, right? She has a very large hate fan base, if you will. So she should have known that already. She knows the things that go on. She knows the forums that follow her and the people on Twitter who continue to talk about her. She's no stranger to it. She knows, she, know, she knew what she was getting herself into. Here's what she follows that up with. I didn't steal any money from anyone. The terms of OnlyFans states no refunds. And I did actually take a look at them myself. You cannot give any refunds on OnlyFans. Plus they take a cut so you wouldn't get a full refund. That's probably why you can't get any refunds on OnlyFans because OnlyFans wants their money. They're not playing around. Continue with the false outrage all you want. I am no longer entertaining this. Like I said, I did put myself out there and put out content. And if they don't live up to your expectations, it's not my problem. This is really not the way that she should go. She shouldn't be getting hostile on there. In my opinion, if the OnlyFans stays up for the entire 30 days, then that's not a scam, if you will. But if she does take it down before then, then yeah, people did pay to have access to that content for 30 days, regardless of how much you post. Some people are active on the OnlyFans every single day. Some people have a back catalog that you sort of pay for, but she definitely needs to keep that content up for 30 days for the people that did pay for it. People aren't getting their full 30 days to do with that content what they will, what they will whatever that is they want to do with it. I upped my sub fee until I close my account so that new people don't subscribe. You will not be charged $50. So like I said in the beginning of the video, she did change her subscription fee from $10 to $50. Can you imagine spending $50 just for Foodie Beauty to go ahead and take it away? But she did actually make a statement on her YouTube account when it comes to this alleged scam. Now, like I said, I don't think it's a scam unless um, she takes down before the 30 days because some people don't offer content or they're not as active either. Anyone who has subscribed to her OnlyFans, they know Foodie Beauty, they know how fickle she can be. So it really was a pay at your own risk sort of situation. And then she came back to YouTube just an hour ago. So here we are very fresh. Hey guys, so I did post this on my OnlyFans account, but I wanted to let you know that I have decided to close my account. I increased the subscription fee to $50 only so people would not subscribe to it. I feel like that's a really bad move, you guys. Existing subscribers will not be charged that amount. I do not feel I owe a refund to anyone because I did put some content out there and am not going to prorate your charges, etc., for the content I did put out. Plus, OnlyFans takes a fee and each subscription in their terms and service says all purchases are final. Honestly, this is a really bad look for OnlyFans models. People continue to make these mistakes. We talked about in my previous video, Bella Thorne and that situation. The thing is, a lot of these OnlyFans models have dealt with things in the past where they give out videos and people try to get refunds for them. What I'm trying to say is some people have to do this kind of work right now on OnlyFans um, because their club is closed and they have nowhere to go dance, especially times like right now. And people like Foodie Beauty and Bella Thorne, who are setting poor examples, only make things worse for those who are doing a genuine good job for the people who enjoy that kind of content. So it's a really bad look because it makes these models look bad when honestly, they are usually the ones that are getting robbed for their videos because people will make throwaway credit cards and they will charge back things on their account. So it's really dangerous and really harmful for the community as a whole, but it's foodie beauty. So really how much influence does she have? It's not like it's Bella Thorne again, right? Most people who signed up were trolls who leaked my content anyway. So for those people, I could care less if you feel you wasted your money. Now, I didn't really see that many people like posting her actual content on Twitter. And she said that she made a thousand dollars. So I have to believe that the majority of the people that subscribed didn't leak her content. It was just a few bad apples. You deserve it. My loyal subscribers understand and did not ask for a refund. 
I decided it is just not for me. I wanted to try it and I briefly did, but I just can't go on with it. I don't want negative comments and people armchair diagnosing me as bipolar, etc., etc. You will be blocked. I'm tired of social media and YouTube right now, so I'll be back Monday. All right, you guys, and here is an update. It appears that as of 5.30 on Saturday, there is nothing posted, at least publicly on her account so it seems like she is taking a two-day break we're not going to be getting the video that she promised when she was going to be talking about this critical issue i wonder what this critical issue is i just hope she gets that leg i really just hope she continues to see a doctor about her leg and about her diabetes and it's sad to see she continues to spiral both mentally and physically it's going to be too late and too late could come pretty soon. That's how bad this looks right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. Bye, guys.